Hey, bestie. No, I'm doing that great. And you know what? It's okay. Because if one day you're feeling like you need to cry, then it's okay to let it out. So I'm, I'm, I'm just let you know that I'm here for you and we just need to cry it out babes we just need to do that and we could be here for each other does it make sense so I just got my nose pissed about a week ago and now it's the worst thing ever <laughs> because when you cry it like I don't know, bubbles in your nose, like on this side, you can't do anything about it because you might get an infection. <laughs> so I, I recommend not watching this if you really get grossed out by noses because there's going to be a lot of sniffling and I think that's okay. We just need to cry it out together and I'm here for you and you're here for me. So <laughs> that's just what it is, bestie, you know? <laughs> so... Um, I thought maybe I could bring some things to help because sometimes people can be like mm, it's okay you know like things are gonna get better but sometimes you just really need to cry out like just get it out because it just won't stop <laughs> like it just beats at you and you cry and you cry and you cry and then it's all gone and you can breathe so that's what I'm hoping this will be like and I know I've never really put myself out here's a tissue I've never really put myself out let me just get your tears I've never really put myself out there like this to show that I am vulnerable <laughs> and no it's nothing that's happened online it's my life Adult life is really hard. They don't teach you that when you're a child. They teach you like just the system, you know, to go through education to then get a job, then to have a house and kids. They don't teach you how to be happy and and they just give you pills and then you'll be okay, you know. But they don't they don't teach, it's like having a kid is for them, like it's they're bringing this child up and they're like, they're experiencing being a mother and a father and they're experiencing this kid, but as the kid gets older they don't remember any of that stuff and they see the world for what it really is and no one prepares you for that, like no one. And they don't teach you in school about like mortgages or how to do your taxes or how to do anything. And <laughs> you're just kind of like thrown at them. Similarly, go if you've been adopted, you know, you're just thrown into the system and thrown into the world. And it's hard. It really is. <laughs> so. Oh gosh. But it's okay, because moments like this make us human, you know, and maybe that's also part of the experience, is being human, that you experience all your emotions and they get, like, on top of you. But I just, can I, like, touch you and stuff, because I need to give you a hug. <laughs> Come here. I'm sorry about the sweaty armpit smell. <laughs> I have put the ocean on, but like I'm sweating a bomb. And I haven't like had a shower in like a week because living is so difficult, you know? So. Body spray. want to drink. You need to drink sweets. Mm. 
Nearly a crumb. The best we can do is the fact that, you know, we, we are queens. We are trying to get through with what we can. And life throws things at us, you know, where people like pass away. And like, people you know become different and change and, and you lose friends, you lose pets and it's part of life you know but it doesn't mean that it doesn't hurt it just hurts so much ironic wouldn't it <sighs> like how did she die oh from depression no from Britney Spears perfume <laughs> mm. so I'm gonna do your hair and I wanted to do this in, a, in better circumstances you know I've wanted to do this for a very long time and let's just hang out and stuff but I feel like I need to be here right now and you need to be here right now too so it's, it's, it's okay so this is heat protection mist because you're a lucky bugger man and you've got like blonde hair what the frick have you seen mine mine's like brown and then blonde at the tips it's like grown out but like because coronavirus haven't been able to get out and have it done and you've got like dark bits too you're so lucky oh my god dream hair goals in it <laughs> so come here babes <sighs> follow me get the back of your head too all right I need a brush really so this is my tangle teaser I don't really brush my hair anymore Bessie's I gotta be honest with you so the majority of it is just wig hair and dust like these things get so dusty you know but like if we focus on doing something else it might not get rid of the pain you know, in, in the overall, the thing that's going on right now, but it might help with, it might help with the right now. Crying is just, it takes up so much effort, you know, you just cry for ages and then you sleep because, well to be honest, we might as well sleep, but it's okay to cry. It is. You know, get you back. It's okay. It's okay. Just let it out. Just let it out. Like, why do we even need to cry? Like, what is the mechanism inside of our brains that thinks, okay, she's, or well, they're sad. Like, why, why, why does it think, yeah, let's pour some water out. Like, all it's going to do is make us thirsty, give us nose problems, make us dehydrated babes. Not to mention it makes us sweat for some reason. I'm going through menopause, babes, so like... I sweat all the time anyway. I absolutely hate sweating. It's the worst feeling in the world. Why does sweating, why does things that need to expel water exist? It is such an uncomfortable feeling, especially like under your boobs as well. Most of the time, I don't know if you girls know, but you have to like just lift your top up a bit and put it like underneath because it's that uncomfortable, okay? So. Your hair is so pretty. 
you get it done over lockdown oh because you're like a hairdresser aren't you you have to do my hair babes it's so bad I just need to get the motivation to have a shower you know I'm just running off dry shampoo all the time this stuff no you don't need any don't worry your hair looks fine it looks amazing you don't need to impress me You don't need to impress anyone. See no tangles now. You can hear it. So what I'm gonna do is <clears throat> first I'm gonna heat spray your hair because um, I'm going to put some crimps in it. Do you remember crimps from the 90s and the 2000s? If you were born if you were born in the two, if you were born in the 2000s, you won't know crimps. We well, might actually if you're born in the 2010s or just before that, I don't think you'll know what crimps are. sprayed a bit too much but we just want to make sure your hair is actually I think I already did that I think I've just used two products my brain's not in it it really isn't it's okay All right so you actually got a really good frame like this look at your hair your hair like frames your face perfectly wow and then on the other side that is pretty cool i'm not gonna lie your hair is cheering me up right now babes it looks great stop it looks great wow what colors did you put in it because look, there's like all different tones and stuff. Just natural highlights. Wow. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to turn my crimper on. See? It's a Hello Kitty crimper, which I've always said a crimpler. That's not the right term. It's crimper, not crimpler. Here come the waterworks. No, no. No, it's like holding back a sneeze. Essentially, now I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Now I'm yawning. What the freak? I don't understand my body. Anyways, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Let's just keep going. One, two, three. Four, five. One, two, three, 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 four, five. Let's get it there. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, look at that. Let's go higher up. One, two, three, four, five. One, Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we got some smoke. Don't worry, it wasn't smoke. <laughs> my sister did that to me. When I was younger, my sister said in the middle of um, like the toilets, you know, you go to the toilet and we had like a shower at a campsite. And my sister was like, <gasps> smoke and she was screaming and I was like what so I like fell on my backside trying to get out the shower and realized that it was it was just steam and I was like you really need to learn the difference between smoke and steam <laughs> anyways that's this one piece done let me put that over the back actually we need to clip 
So I have this pink one. I'm gonna clip that to the side. Ooh, just burnt my hand off. Okay. Next piece. That's hot. <laughs> just burnt my hand. Whoa, that is really hot. See? Look at that. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Whoa. Crazy. Bring this piece forward. You are a bit taller than me. So, um, that's why I'm kind of like reaching. <laughs> Do you remember in the 90s, they had that crimper that could prim print a heart into the hair. Now, if you remember that, you went to a few sleepovers because I could not get one. People are worried about me. <laughs> Ooh. Literally just burnt my hand. Ow. Okay, that is a bit worrying. I'm going to turn this off because I don't know how hot this is supposed to get and I don't want to burn your hair off. But at the end of the day, it's still crimping because it's making steam. I think it's just the product we used before. But like, oh geez, that's dangerous. Get that away from your face. But like, can you see the crimps? Not really. <laughs> it's a bad example to show you like right in front of your eyes, but they're there. <laughs> now the next side. I think it's nice getting your hair done because not many people does it like nowadays do like slumber parties everyone just does like the bare minimum in friendships especially when you get older as well if you ever know anyone who's like 15 or like 18 tell them to try and keep friends with their friends if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out but Try not to start any unnecessary drama, you know what I mean? Because friends are so hard to come by as you get older. And it's not like, oh yeah, you just lose friends. It's like people lose the interest to find friends as well. So, and again, they don't tell you any of that when you're like younger and have social issues and don't do great at school and nearly failing and getting expelled nearly like twice. They don't tell any tell anything that. Maybe they just assume everyone will just sort of like fall in line. And now it's not doing anything. I have to turn it on. Like there's no middle ground. It's like my not air conditioner, but my fan in the car. Like number one and number two, the setting. Well, you put it on number one and it's free. It like barely any power input but on number two and it blasts you you're like in between but there never is you know what I mean ow my burned thumb I didn't think I burned my thumb on crimpers didn't think especially like 2000s crimpers because I had some hair straighteners back in the day that were from the 2000s and they were really big plate ones and they were just so bad and they just didn't heat up. And then I bought some curlers quite recently, or fented from the 2000s. And again, no power input. So I was not expecting to be burned from Hello Kitty crimpers just by touching the housing. I was not expecting that. <laughs> but to be honest, it's a nice having. It's nice having a sensation other than. I don't know, crying. 
I don't know. When you feel so numb as well. Oh my god, Bestie, I just touched your face. Are you okay? What, you like the eyebrow? That's bad. Alright. I'm going to say that side's done. This one's still really crimpy. Some of them are falling out. We'll do, we'll do your shape. Your hair's hot. That has crimped it. I don't know if you can tell because it's right up your face. But I don't want to destroy your hair because that's like the last thing I want to do. It's kind of made it go a bit more bushier, I guess. So I'm going to turn it off because again, it's getting quite hot and my finger hurts. And next. We're going to use some um, dry shampoo because this is going to like um, beef up your hair a little bit, add some texture, stuff like that. And because you're like blonde browning colour, I do have the brown but I don't want to use it on your hair because it might like darken it even more and that's not what we want. So I've got this one. It's Dry Shampoo Tropical Exotic Coconut. Refreshes hair without drying out. So let's take your hair clip down. And just go. Ooh, again, we don't want to dye on this stuff. And then just kind of like beef your hair. Even like back comb it. Just like that. This is giving me like rocker chick vibes. Oh my gosh, you look gorge. Definitely recommend. Like, if you get some layers as well, this stuff will look amazing. You can have it. Here, have. Don't feel bad. And lastly, I'm going to put some clips in your hair. Because no matter what age you get, you are still 15 in your heart, like I am. Well, I'm 14. But we have a unicorn clip. It's super cute. I'm gonna put that right there. Oh look, you made me smile. <laughs> and we're gonna do we're gonna do two holographic clips to match the silver. You see? I'm going to put this one on this side, so just take your hair, put that there, and another one, take the hair, put that there, cute, and by the way these are Barbie clips from Claire's, so if you want to get some, you know where they're from. I'm going to take my play makeup from Claire's. Take the pink. See, quite pigmented. I'm going to put it on your cheeks. Oh 
in your hair. Now we're going to take some more. Really pigmented. It's okay. Some of it went on me. We're gonna do hair mascara next. This is silver hair mascara. I don't really know why I did the blush because you're kind of like crying and that's fine. Um, but I kind of just wanted to use the blush brush for the first time because I don't really have anyone over like at all. So I just wanted to kind of use it because I don't know <laughs> so let's take this bit here you got this see and we just kind of that looks so better than when I did it on my hair oh my gosh why does nothing ever work on like, a, like my hair colour this looks amazing. No way. Wow, they need to make this in like holographic. I'll show you in a second what this looks like. Like it gets your individual hairs. This is better than that glitter spray, like hairspray, because the hairspray gets everywhere and you actually get high from it which might not be a bad thing I guess but like if you have kids or whatever then it's not not that great <laughs> but oh my god more oh my god you look so cool I'm getting some, see that's one for, one thing to look forward to, I'm getting some tinsel um, hair extensions and I'm going to cut them individually and then tie them on my hair. So you could come around then and we could do that. Let me show you. is mad cool so now you got glitter in your hair really poor lighting but literally it's so glittery I'm actually I'm actually getting tomorrow I think it's tomorrow a new lampshade and a new bulb so I can get better lighting and stuff because I don't like this current lighting so there are things to look forward to but then I think like yeah there's things to look forward to but then I've spent money and I it ultimately doesn't make me feel better because I have a lot of things to pay for and I'm by myself so if we want to move in that would be great <laughs> just kidding but you know it's hard it really is when you're by yourself there's so many things you have to just go through you know what i mean a lot of people like live with their parents i'm just taking some pumps of this a lot of people it's oil hair oil arrogant oil a lot of people live with their parents and stuff because, well, life's expensive, but as well, it keeps you company, especially if you don't have anyone, you know? And I feel like 
moms can be like feeling lonely too even though they have kids because if they live alone like they're single moms or they don't get on with their partner say it was a forced marriage or just the marriage falls apart because that can happen then they are also lonely because they're not in a good relationship and their kids they don't understand and they shouldn't need to understand because it's just not their time to know that sort of thing apparently the world wants kids to remain kids and that's a good thing because otherwise when they get older they have trauma like a me <laughs> so it's difficult and I feel like a lot of us are lonely the only difference is with me and you is we speak up about it promote mental health talk about things people don't want to talk about and we come together and that's what makes us different and special because there's not many people like us a lot of people are drones they just go through life kind of numb doing the slave labour jobs that the government wants them to do and then die very like mundane but it's like a lot of people just don't care they see that as their life and they're like fine that's it, that's it, that's my life some of people don't show their emotions very well so they just hide them like the guys or girls or non-gender parties that you know will come up look when in your hair nice hair you know those those type of people sorry i'm forgetting what i'm saying the gays you know back in the olden days married the opposite sex to fit in and then only later on became more talkative or just didn't say anything um, and you know they probably felt very lonely in their situations and like yes, that's what I mean like we are very a generation itself is very talkative and I think maybe with the internet that kind of like helped people talk and more and more people, more, well, more and more people are becoming aware. But there's still so many people that just don't care and will just go along with the system as opposed to fighting it. And then you think, like, well, what could you do? But it's too much. We don't need to think about that right now. We just need to focus on ourselves. Like, that's it. That's all we need to do. We just need to focus on ourselves. Look, four pumps of um, oil gone. Must be my hand shiny, but gone on your hair. Not to say that your hair needed it. It's just it's giving it a lot of texture, especially around the back as well. Your hair is vibes. It's so pretty. Just the right amount of like which we wanted back in the 2000s we needed all the poof <laughs> and yeah do you want some lip gloss because I do have some here and I haven't opened it yet because this is the new stuff this is the pink one don't worry you look really pretty you don't have to care about any of that stuff you look fine it's just me and you here you don't even need to impress anyone it smells like bubble gum and sugar and cake. So, pucker up, little one. Let's get another pump.
point with gloss is you need as much as you can possibly get. There is never too much when it comes to gloss. See now, you don't want to ruin your makeup, do you? It doesn't matter. You can cry as much as you want to. But I've kind of stopped crying because, I don't know, just hanging out with you feels that makes me feel like less alone. So I hope you feel the same way, you know? So recently, I actually got a book and I used to love reading books, you know? It is Jojo Siwa's Guide making your own fun and stuff because this is kind of like yeah we are hanging out now but like we are going to be on our own sometimes and a flipping 15 year old has written a book on how we should be happy when when we were growing up in school no one ever thought you know what let's make a book to help these adults succeed or at least live until their 30s <laughs> so um i'm just gonna read some of it myself i'm autistic and i know not every autistic person is the same actually every single person seems to differ but i i like to resonate with my childhood i'm autistic um, so I'm quite childish anyway, but I would say like in the recent years I've become more childish because of the fact I can't deal with like reality very well. I'm really struggling um, Like I'm really struggling daily tasks are really hard, you know eating showering You know Funny enough, I care about everyone else's, you know, mental health than my own. Um, you know, my bunnies. Actually, whenever I ring, like, the panic line, they always say, the first thing they ever say is, okay, well, do you have anything positive in your life? Or do you have anything that's going okay? Or what are you grateful for? It's a big one. And I would say my bunnies, and then stop right there. I'd like my bunnies. They're in my life. I love them. If they weren't here right now, I would not be here right now. <laughs> um, and, <laughs> you know, so I find it kind of like when I'm really sad and like I feel really crap. I don't know if you feel the same. But ring in those sort of places makes you talk. And I think that's that's what helps you overall. It helps you talk. You feel less alone. You feel like someone's there for you. Um, but what they actually say doesn't really help. Does that make sense? So sometimes I don't feel like ringing the number because I know what they're going to say. And I just can't. So I'm reading this book because heaven's sake, like I bought it. I read it from time to time, but not like all the time. And seeing as you're here in the same boat, we might as well read it together. Well, first of all, reading can pass the time, can't it? And you don't, with reading, you don't have to think. That's a good one, because I think way too much. If I have a shower, I will stand there and think and then not doing anything but burn myself in the shower and um, I literally do I do just stand there and turn the turn the temperature up without actually doing anything I think it's like a self-harm thing so um, yeah reading might be a good one because it does distract the mind people always say like oh do a hobby or something but like when you're depressed, the last thing you want to be doing is something you enjoy because you know it's not going to bring you happiness. You're just going to be sat there like, how? Oh, and feel down. You need something to distract your mind. Hence my YouTube channel, Little Distractions. And like, I watch ASMR actually. Um, when I'm really bad, like I'm having a panic attack with anxiety. 
actually when I came out of hospital I sat I mean I listened to um, you know that thing that goes boop 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 out of hospital like on a loop on um, YouTube I listened to that for ages like as an anxiety coping coping mechanism because to me it was like okay this machine's hooked up to my body somebody somewhere in this hospital will care if that suddenly drops <laughs> so to hear the boop 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 just felt really calming to me um i do forget about that one actually i only just remember that until right now um i don't think i've listened to that in like two years so that was interesting <laughs> thanks for reminding me <laughs> okay so we have reading that's a good one tiktok is a half and half because tiktok like it's good because you scroll like you just keep scrolling but you're not thinking which is also very good but you just you just for me anyway i just end up on the posts that really tick me off and it's just not what i need in that space of time it's more like youtube shorts is probably better or even instagram reels because there's not so much like I don't know, sexism or um, important talks on there. It's just all funny stuff. So I think YouTube shorts, maybe, for the distraction part alone. When I'm sad, I don't know about you, I just eat so much and then I regret it because my body, yeah, I'm on hormones and my body just absorbs. Like literally, I had three, no, I had four ice creams in one week my body didn't even expel it as poop it just absorbed i didn't even know my body could do that i think it thinks it's a superpower but it's really not it's not what i needed because all it does is go straight to my belly and i don't oh, i'm a leggings man they just barely fit me i'm like a size 14 to 16 now in the uk and i just can't believe how much food has betrayed me because it already betrayed me from me having like wheat and gluten, sorry, gluten and lactose intolerances and IBS. So then being like, oh, actually, if you eat milk, like milk based products, you're going to gain so much weight. You're going to hate your body every time you see it, make you even more depressed than you already were. Yeah. So I, I have a love hate relationship with food. Really do. Um, I would not recommend eating. <laughs> well, I mean, like, don't starve yourself. But, like, just if you're not going to eat anything all day, the very bare minimum you should do is just snack, like, lettuce and chocolate. Lettuce and chocolate. Because then you can say you've had something sweet and you've also had your one of five a day. Yeah. That, that's what I would say. Anyways, you take a read of this and see what you think and give me suggestions. Because I think reading at the moment is a good one. Talking to your bestie is clearly a good one. Because look at me, I've like calmed down in 40 minutes. Like it's all thanks to you just listening to me. And like, even you look better now, you know, feeling less weighted and stuff <laughs> but you know thanks for listening to me